Hi folks, welcome to another video. This is DoorDash Sucks. And uh, today is Thursday and um, I'm splitting some time between Walmart Spark and I'm doing DoorDash. Now the cool thing about the DoorDash, having the top dasher, the only thing is to be able to dash now. So, I, so if you had a dash scheduled and you ended it, then you, so a lot of times they won't let you start another one, right? But with Dash Now, you can come on anytime, anywhere, any zone, right? So in between that, I said, let me turn on Walmart Spot because I knew I was driving by a Walmart, a nearby one. I turn it on, I see this delivery, and it says curbside pickup at 1045. Right now, it's 1029. But I'm sitting in front of the place, and I'm thinking to myself, well, would it be ready now? Now, I've never done Walmart Spot. This is my actual first trip. The cool thing, this is only two orders for 9.2 miles. When I saw some of these other orders, like about five months ago when I was going to take it, they, will, they wanted you to do eight, nine trips for the same amount of money that's basically on the screen right now. 33 bucks for nine miles is not bad, so I don't mind doing this. And this is going to be my first Walmart Spock. Um, I'm going to try to check to see in the note in the notifications if there's any um, incentives. Okay, this is a new incentive. From 11.3 to 11.4. From 11.3, earn $5 per trip completed or returned. Uh, be, uh, uh, please check the incentive description in your incentive programs feature of your app for more details. So then you, what you do is you go down to the incentive programs, and it says... Um, they were giving $195 last week between, I can't remember when it was, but it was up till October 31st for $195 if you completed uh, 20, 20 orders. But, you know, that's not bad. I mean, but like, you know, <laughs> does it entail taking no tip orders? So this one says each completed trip can get an additional incentive of $6, no upper limit. I don't know what that means. Exciting morning incentive, 11 one to 11-3, valid through 11-3. Currently, you get zero qualifying trips. Okay, so back to the trip that I that I just showed you, right? Um, okay, so here it is. Now, I'm going to hit start trip, I guess, in a minute or so, but I just want to let you know that I was doing, Wal that I'm doing Walmart Spock. The next part of this video you're going to see, I recorded previously to this, for Thursday morning. So this is the same day. It's just that I'm showing you the Walmart Spock one first, uh, that I'm starting this. This is my first trip with Walmart Spock. And then I have some messages in the next part of this video. And then stay tuned for another video, hopefully that I'll post later today. Um, and I'll let you know when it's rendered. And if it doesn't come out today, it'll come out tomorrow. I am quite behind in, in uh, videos, but I have lots of videos to post, folks, so just uh, bear with me, folks, and I hope you've watched all the other videos that I posted yesterday, the three videos and the also the um, comment video. So let me just hit the start trip, see what it does. It says, looks like it's too early to start. The pickup time is 1045, and your current ETA is 1038. You may need to wait for the pickup order. Okay, so obviously I'm, I'm going to have to wait until it turns 10.45. It's 10.32, so I'm going to take a, a little nap for the next 10 minutes here, and then I'll stop my trip, and I'll probably let you know how it went, or maybe as I'm driving to the place, I'll make another video before you see the next other part of the video from this morning. So just stand by. It depends on how I edited the video. But um, like I said, I'm going to be doing this trip, and uh, then you'll see the other part that I recorded this morning. So let's go. By the next time you see me, I will have been on this trip, okay? Okay, folks, I uh, picked up my first Walmart Spark order. It was two deliveries, and not too bad. It was a small order. I mean, there's a couple of, there's like a water and something else. Uh, the first one supposedly had 34 units, 16 items. The other one's a really small one, but all together... I mean, for nine miles, this isn't bad. And what's awesome is it's taken me back into my own, like, area where I normally dash. So that's even a bonus because after I'm done with this, I just turn on DoorDash and dash now, right? But obviously, 
because I probably won't be top dash next month because I'm not going for it, okay? So I won't, you know, you can't, like, I couldn't do this luxury of being able to do that, right? But big deal, okay? Dash now. <laughs> You're going to make the same money as you do. The only way you don't, folks, is when uh, you're not in the large order program, which I'm not not in that program. So I'll, like that's why my weekly earnings have never really gone up much. The only reason they went up a cut, like 150, 175 bucks in, in one, two of those weeks that I was dashing in the month that I was trying to get top dasher was because I was feverishly trying to keep my, my acceptance rate up, right? So, and you know, I did decline a bunch you know, to uh, moderately, um, you know, keep things going the, the way I was supposed to, to in order for me to sort of be profitable, right? Um, okay, so I'm heading to, um, oh, this one's only a mile and a, this one's only a mile and a half away, which is really good. Um, hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully they didn't give me uh, the far away one. I mean the close one, uh, the far away one first. Like what I mean by that is reverse it, where I go. Oh, I think I know how they're going to do it. So I'm going to I'm dropping off the one that's kind of closest to me, and then the other one will go further out, and it'll be a way for me to. Okay, I understand what they're doing here. Maybe, I hope I didn't go the wrong way. I could have possibly taken the wrong exit. Oh, man. Uh, this is not good. I think I screwed myself. Oh, I can't believe it. Are you serious? Yeah, I went the wrong way, folks. I went the wrong way. I got on the ex off the exit. I was supposed to go the opposite way. I did See, I didn't turn the navigation on right from the parking lot. I just assumed it was the other way. So now I just added an additional five miles to my nine miles. Isn't that lovely? But it's highway miles, so I'm not that upset about it. But, like, oh, man, this just sucks. <laughs> hey, we all make mistakes, folks, right? I mean, it's, it's just the way it is. We make mistakes. We're human beings, you know? The whole point of it is, even with the extra five bucks, I mean, five miles in there, I'm still making $33 on this run, and who knows, maybe I'll get a tip from the customers extra. I doubt it, but sometimes, you know, they could give you a cash tip. Who knows, right? Um, with that said, uh, it just gives me a chance to talk with you. I can't believe it. I, I knew I was doing something wrong. It was showing a 1.1 1, 1. 1 miles away, but I, I was supposed to turn around in the other direction. I probably would have already been at the person's house. Look at this guy. This friggin' truck is, like, not even watching what the hell he's doing. Holy crap. People are, like, whack. They're on their phones, like, continuously. You know? At least I can just put mine on and then talk to you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, looking down at it and stuff like that, you know? Because I know where I'm going. And if I want to know where I'm going, all I got to do is put the audio on. Being distracted is not a good thing, folks. You know what I mean? Oh, people just drive like idiots. Unbelievable. Anyways, so I'm heading back to where I should have gone. What I was supposed to do when I got came out of that Walmart parking lot was to take the the left instead of the right, which sucked. So now it's back up on the highway. Big deal. At least it's highway. It's at least I'm not doing back road stuff, you know. <clears throat> so anyways. Like I said, it's and this is right around 11 o'clock right now, so it's not exactly lunch. We'll be coming into lunch. So this will be basically two quick drop-offs and then back to dashing because I'm not going to continue to do Walmart Spock. See, this is, this is what the multi-apping thing is about, turning on apps and getting lucky and you know, getting one or two orders or something and then going back to what you were doing on, on whatever main app that you choose to do it, right? Hopefully, Walmart Spock will be one of the main apps that I do. Because I actually, like, 
So long as these aren't like insane, heavy, super heavy orders, the thing is, you don't know what's coming out, I don't think, until you see it. Like, because I, I didn't really extensively look in the app to see if I could see what, what was being delivered. Like, she had a couple of cases of water or one soda thing and water, which isn't bad. I don't mind. I mean, I'm a heavy, I'm, I'm, I'm a big, strong guy and I don't mind lifting heavy things, you know? So, but like, being inundated with heavy stuff is not a good thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah. First Walmart Spock job, folks. Um, the other one's going to get me around where I need to be on my second delivery, where I will, where I normally stop my dashes anyways. So it kind of works out. Just, it sucks that I had to drive this extra 4.7 miles on the highway because I screwed up. But that was my fault, you know what I mean? Normally, I, like, because I, I was trying to, I'm trying to make the video, and I normally have the navigation on. But I waited, and I went, when I got out of that parking lot, I took a right instead of a left, and then the highway was right there, and I got onto the highway, you know? It happens. It's no big deal. I mean, I'm still making a profit, but it's not maximizing your profits when you screw up like that, you know what I mean? So, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver this, this first one. Then I'm, once I'm on towards my second one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the recording for the second one, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, folks, so I dropped off the first order, which was fine, uh, but I just want to note something that... Uh, that uh, the uh, there's a lot of steps to completing the delivery like it's not it's not that bad but like you gotta like you gotta hit like different um, things like you gotta it's like three or four steps to doing it okay and basically in the like the third or fourth one you hit you know it's just redundancy and they make you take the photo and all that I mean it's pretty simple um, it's sort of like point pickup. Point pickup is actually the same type of way. So, anyways. Uh, I'm trying to get out of an area that's that's been uh, worked on by, like, people that are doing the street and everything. And I, there was a cop right before I got to this person's house. And he asked me where I was going and all this stuff. And then he's like, oh, you got to go out the back way. So now I'm heading back. Now this this is I'm 7.5 miles away from my other drop off, but it's going back into my zone. So by the time I get in there, I'll be able to turn dash now on for DoorDash, and I'll be able to you know continue for the rest of the uh, the lunch period or however long I want to stay out. The cool thing with Dash now on DoorDash is you could stay out all day long, and they don't limit you on your hours, but I do suggest if you're going to do that, folks, that you definitely, um, that you definitely take a rest, you know what I mean, so basically what they're doing now is, or what I'm doing is getting up on the highway, because it makes more sense for me go, to go the highway, I could, I know my way around where I am now, but the thing is, going the back roads, it's just going to waste more gas for you, at least on the highway, you get to glide a little bit, you know, and um, it's quicker. So you do save money, but I screwed myself a little bit, probably used three, three bucks in gas, you know, <laughs> doing the 4.5 miles or whatever, you know what I mean? Lesson learned, just make sure I navigate as soon as I pick up the order, and then I'll be okay. Um, so, um, I'll, I will check back in with you after I drop off this order for, uh, for this next lady. Stand by. Okay, folks, so I just completed that second order, and this is what it looks like, basically, with the check marks. It says, trip completed. You've completed all the orders from this trip. So these trips can be from anywhere from one order to probably 20 orders. It's, I mean, you know what it is, folks? They don't have enough money. Or I, actually, I wouldn't even say that. Of course, these companies have the money. They don't want to pay their in-house delivery Walmart drivers, if they have one, to do all of this work because it would take too long. 
So it's easier for them to hire independents like us through the way they do it by paying us. Now, in essence, 33 bucks for these two deliveries, this was, this was easy. I'm not going to say it's easy all the time. And when I started Walmart Spark or when I was trying to get a delivery through them like three months ago, the orders looked terrible. They, they wanted, like, I saw one for $29. They wanted you to go on, like, nine different deliveries, and it was going to be 30 miles or something like that. So it was, like, $29 for 30 miles. That's not even a dollar per mile. Something like this, 33 bucks with, nine, with um, you know, with nine miles is not bad. But here's the thing. I've, now, I don't know a whole lot about Walmart Spock. I'm just starting this Walmart Spock thing, okay? But I, I've, I've heard that they could pull back the tip and things like that. So that sucks if that happens. Because if that happens, I mean, that's when, you, when it's called lawsuit time. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're independent, but we, we should be getting paid what it says on the screen. And if the customer doesn't pay us, the corporation needs to pay us. You understand? I don't care what they say and this and that. Go after them if they don't pay you, okay? Don't take it lying down, folks. That's all I got to say. Now, I'm going to hit done here, and I'm going to see if there's any additional screens. Okay, so now I'm on till 2.30 p.m. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually keep this active in the background. But you know what I want to do, too? Let me see. Did they send me another one here? No, it's just retrieving the location. Okay, and I'm taking a little break for like 10 minutes before I start my next shift on DoorDash. But I wanted to go into, let's see, my, let me see, incentives, let me see, trips. Okay, trips. Okay, completed. Okay, this one says completed. Now I'm going to click on it. Okay, here's the breakdown. The delivery fee was $16.50. Tips was seventeen dollars, so it came out to thirty three fifty. Customers may adjust the tip amount up to twenty four hours after the delivery. Isn't that just lovely and wonderful? And 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 by the way, if you think that people aren't going to take advantage of that, folks, they will. Like whenever they have a chance to. Now I'm in a decent town. These people are decent people. But if you were in like the hood or in a welfare pot. Except, uh, expect them to, to take the tips back. That would be really scumbaggish to do. But like I said, I'd still go after Walmart if that happened. So for 33 bucks, it's not bad. But I mean, they have 24 hours to take the tip back. Now, imagine if the t customer can see that screen. Imagine if they can see, hey, guess what, customer? If you would like to, you know, like, look over here. You can take the tip back, right? I mean, it's unbelievable. Hold on one second, guys. Mariah, come here. Come here, kitty. Come here. There's a cat that's outside here that I love. She goes into my backyard all the time. <laughs> she's a beautiful cat. Come here, Mariah. I gave her a name of Mariah. She's she's a, a stray cat, but I'm going to eventually take her into my house, and she's going to be part of the family. It's just that it hasn't gotten that cold out yet. She likes to be outside. Anyways, let me finish up here, and then we're going to move on to um, the video that I recorded earlier. But I wanted to just do a little bit of Walmart Spark because I've never done it here, folks, on this channel. And I told you I was going to. So I completed my first two deliveries. Or, well, see, hot, here, hot, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm tongue-tied here. <laughs> how they do it, folks, how Walmart Spark does it is... It doesn't matter how many deliveries that it is, even though you count them as two, they count it as one. It's one, like, batch. So you could have 15 deliveries, but they count it as one delivery. And, and keep that in mind, too, folks, when you do those incentives where they say, um, where they say that, okay, so if you do 20 deliveries, you get an extra 200 bucks, right? But what if each delivery had 15, or 15 delivery stops in them? That only counts as one delivery, folks. They don't, get, let you, they don't count all those deliveries as each as one delivery. They count the batch as one delivery. So you see how it gets a little complicated? Especially if they're really far orders, if they're not lined up correctly. I just happened to turn the app on. 
and that $33 order was sitting there, came through right away, and I was right around the corner. And you have to just catch it right, folks. You have to be able to turn these apps on at a whim. Forgive me, I'm out of breath because I walked up a whole flight of stairs, like way, way up on the third floor. Um, <laughs> I need to hit the gym is what I need to do. Start getting back to lift, weightlifting um, and running. Um, and that's another thing that kills you folks is that doing this job, you're so tired. You come home at the end of the night and you just all you want to do is plop in your bed and go to sleep, you know. But um, anyways, pretty interesting. Um, you know, some of these some of these trips can can actually be good for you. They can, but the thing is, is that you have to just be diligent and take the ones that make sense. Sense, you know, like if I hadn't have screwed up that four point seven miles, I would have had this done a lot sooner. But four point seven and nine—that's ten, eleven, twelve. 13, basically 14 miles for 33 bucks. I still made out on the deal, but for the nine miles, it would have been a lot better, right? I mean, imagine if we could get those type of orders, folks, every order, 33, 35 bucks for two orders. I mean, you could do like 10 of these orders and you'd make a killing for the day. And I'm sure there are some people that get lucky. Um, I'm probably going to turn turn this app off, take a little bit of a break, and um, and then come back out in a little while, even though it's lunchtime. Um, I've already been out for a while. So anyways, continue to watch this video, folks, and um, I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care. Okay, folks, I want to give you an update. This is 24 hours after my Spock delivery and i wanted to show you what the tips were like remember i was supposed to get paid 31 and change right guess what this is my first spock order keep in mind the first one i ever did it was two two people check this out folks here's the breakdown 1650 right says trip earnings and then the tips was supposed to be basically 16 bucks because it was 31 dollars or 30 almost 32 or fit yeah it was 15 and tips 15 and change right guess what the second person took back their tip they tip baited me folks on walmart spock and i hear about this all the time i watch videos on people doing walmart spock and they say oh watch out for the tip baiters i didn't think it could happen to me around this area oh boy was i wrong so like this is wrong folks like the f See, this is another thing exposing Walmart Spock, right? You have a case against them, you know. What, you did the job for what they, they told, right? What it said. You, we didn't do it based on base pay. Why are they showing the tips? Why don't they just hold back the tips and show us the, ba the base pay? Because they know you wouldn't do the job in any other case. Remember, it was a nine-mile job for 31, 31 and change, right? Remember I screwed up on the highway and I drove past it so that ended up being like an, an additional 4.5 or whatever so it ended up being like 14 miles i mean i'm still making slightly a little money right for 26 but it was 31 dollars, and i'm pissed i'm pissed because i mean is this what it's going to be like right here the fact that this happened right i have proof so i could i could sue walmart in court now you might say oh you're going to sue them for five dollars hold on a second i gotta get back to that you're going to sue them for five bucks yeah sue them for a whole lot more than that for false advertising false deception now here's the thing they could say well we warned you in the app that tips can be taken back every time why why are they telling that to people they're probably telling it to the customers they're probably telling it to the idiot customer saying, hey, keep in mind, if you want to take your tip back, you can do that up to 24 hours. Why would you tell that to someone? Then it puts it in their mind that they can do it. Like, this is wrong, folks. That's why I told you guys, this is happening across all the apps. They play these friggin' games, and I'm really pissed. I'm pissed the fact that they took that back. You could say, well, it's only five bucks. What if it was the other guy with the ten? It'd be worse, right? The first order was a pretty large order. 
this this other order was just a little bit, but let me let me tell you, these people that are doing this, oh, they got they got a world of hurt hurt coming for them. And I don't I don't believe in karma, but I believe in uh, in eye for an eye, as far as what the Bible says, right? Eye for an eye. They're gonna get theirs for doing this. I'll tell you that. It pisses me off. So beware of Walmart Spark, folks. I mean, overall, Walmart Spark can be probably good. You probably can, because Thomas Schubeck was telling me that he makes decent money with it. And but like, you got these these assholes. Uh, pardon my French. That do this. Unbelievable, unbelievable, folks. So I just want to let you know. Appreciate you watching the video. I wanted to do a Walmart spot just so you'd know about it, and so now you know. Um, I'll be doing future videos, but I got to be honest. It'll be one of my last apps that I use to 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 do it. When when people can have the ability to take the tips back, especially with Uber. See, I'm not going to let this go. When I have a chance, I'm going to call Walmart up and I'm going to accuse them of, of false advert. Well, I'm going to tell them that you, it's your responsibility to make up for the where the person didn't tip uh, or they pulled back a tip. You need to pay me. This is wrong, folks. All right, I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Thanks for watching.